you can imagine how heated I was. So I went back to the floor and I was like, okay, where is this girl at? Like, I'm about to confront her ass because you don't do that shit because now you're fucking with my money. Like, you're being money hungry as fuck. So then I'm like looking for her everywhere on the floor. I'm like going to the back room. I'm like, where the fuck is this female at, bro? So she's literally nowhere to be found. just pulled up to lovers lane we're gonna see what they have in stock qs skirt and then these two right here period i always do good when i'm a school girl so Okay, so I just got home and I have something to say and let's just say this is gonna come out how it is um, I'm gonna keep it completely real with you guys like I always do and I'm gonna try to say it calmly because low-key when this went down I was very much heated but I know that I had a reason to be heated, you know, because any other dancer would have popped off because you don't do this shit. Okay, so let me just explain one factor that goes into this situation so it could kind of make a little bit of sense. So one of the rules at my club is if a customer comes in and you approach the customer, the customer then says, oh, no, thank you. I don't want anything. I'm actually waiting for the girl I always come and see. So, say a customer came in and girls approached him, whatever, and he says, oh no, thank you, I'm waiting for Stormy. So, he's waiting for this specific girl. So, once he tells you that and he lets you know, that's your cue to get up and leave and you just leave the situation alone because he's not there for you, he's there for a specific girl. So, that's our rule at our club. After he says that, you get up and you leave. And mind you, we've had multiple meetings about this situation where the manager literally tells all of the girls, if this happens, if he's waiting for somebody and he lets you know, that's your cue to get up and leave and just leave it alone. We had not one meeting, not two meetings, multiple meetings, you know? So obviously girls already should know by now. Okay, so basically I had a room with my regular, of course. We had an hour suite. And he had brought it up and he was like, oh, well, um, you were busy, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, oh, yeah, this girl, um, she said that she went to go call you and that you were going to be like 20 minutes or something. And I'm like, what girl? 
because nobody came and found me to tell me that you were here so i'm over here confused as fuck while he's telling me all this stuff and i'm just like wait what okay so this is what happened so in this situation my regular was telling me that him and his boy had came in and these two girls approached them which is super cool super normal whatever so then my regular tells these two girls oh no thank you i don't want nothing i'm actually waiting for stormy so then this girl we're gonna call her janelle so janelle over here trying to be trying to be a hustler she tells my regular oh well um let me go find her or let me let me see how long or where is she or whatever so my regular's like oh, okay cool she's trying to help me out so then she pretends y'all she pretends to go find me and then she comes back to where my regular is and tells my regular oh she's busy she's gonna be like 20 minutes or so so yeah just the fact that you literally went out of your way to pretend to go look for me and tell me all this stuff just to come back to my regular and say oh like 20 minutes blah 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 like girl what like first of all you don't do that shit because you're fucking with my money that's one second of all out of all females it would be this female because ever since this girl has started and it's not just me because girls that actually work with me have peeped it too and i've never said anything because i don't care about these girls at the club i really don't you know i got my whole life right here you know so that's little shit so ever since this girl started it's like she had like this animosity towards me for what i have no clue because y'all i literally never did anything to this female for her to have like this huge animosity towards me like i literally mind my business when i'm working like i mind my business i just be about my hustle and that's it like y'all already know that because you guys come to work with me you know so yeah like my regular told me all this stuff so after my hour was over with him you can imagine how heated i was so i went back to the floor and i was like okay where is this girl at like i'm about to confront her ass because you don't do that shit because now you're fucking with my money pretending that you went to go find me and now you're lying you know like you're being money hungry as fuck so then i'm like looking for her everywhere on the floor i'm like going to the back room i'm like where the fuck is this female at bro so she's literally nowhere to be found so then i'm like okay i'm gonna take it as a sign to just calm down take a breather and let my manager know and let him handle it so then i went to go call my manager i'm like look we gotta talk and then i told him the whole situation he completely agreed with me so then he was like okay just like calm down you know we'll have like a talk i'll talk to her i'm like no we can talk to her together like i want to be there because i'm about to like tell her what's up like that's not cool you don't do that i don't know anywhere that that's okay to do like you know what i'm saying so he's like all right well she's in a 30 minute room right now so we're just gonna wait till she's done yada yada so i'm like okay cool sounds good so then I hit the floor again and I do my thing or whatever, get my money. Okay, so then I see Janelle getting out of the room because I'm over here giving this man a dance. So the dance was over. She sits right there. So then I'm like, all right, I don't trust myself going up to her by myself because if she says something wrong to me, I'm going to pop off because at this point I was super heated. So I was like, let me just relax and call my manager. So my manager took us in a room and he told her the situation what had happened and she kind of tried to play stupid and like the victim and i did you know throw a little curse word or two in there so she's like why are you cursing like why are you yelling i'm talking i'm just talking like girl so then my manager is telling her like yeah you can't do that like we've literally had multiple meetings about this situation to prevent this from happening so he was basically telling her she was in the wrong which shout out to you because she was so then um i'm kind of getting loud and she tries to like kind of get loud but she simmers down 
and my manager was like shh like relax relax because literally i was kind of low-key getting loud because she had me fucked up she had me very much fucked up like girl you're not innocent like you're literally doing all of the girls wrong one by one and then you wonder why nobody likes you but that's besides the point so then i'm just like okay well there's no reason that you had to lie like that like pretend that you're looking for me and then report back to my regular and just spread a bunch of lies because you didn't go find me and you know what i'm saying so yeah, when she said, um, I'm just talking, we're talking, she hit me with the, which this low-key slipped out of her mouth and she didn't even get to finish the sentence because she knew that like she fucked up by saying this. She was like, you're much older than, it. and then she stopped right there. So what she was gonna say is, you're much older than me. How do you know that? How do you know I'm older than you? How do you know my age? Because I promise you guys, no one in the club not one soul knows my real age at the club no nobody like nobody not even the girls that i'm really cool with that i that i talk to they don't know my age i don't go out telling people my age if anything people think i'm 20 or 21 that's literally all i get like they'd be like oh like i thought you were 20 i thought you were 21 like blah blah, blah. so yeah i had instantly peeped that she knew she fucked up by almost slipping the whole sentence out but i didn't confront her about that sentence because in my head i was like wait what how do you know i'm older than you like that means you know my age like nobody in the club knows my age you know what i'm saying like literally nobody so after the whole you know discussion was done with i was like okay well next time you do that we're gonna have bigger problems and then she was just like she was like giving me a look like and I was like, why are you looking at me like you're going to do something? She was like, well, you're looking at me, so I'm looking at you back. Like, girl. And, like, the only thing I can think of, which I kind of, like, figured from the start when she first had started because she gave me the vibe. But she also gave me, like, this animosity vibe ever since she started. So the only thing I could think of is she probably watches my YouTube channel. She probably keeps up. She probably keeps up with my tabs like she's probably watching this video right now so if you are what's fucking popping but yeah like that's the only thing i can think of you know like obviously y'all know my real age because i've said it a couple of times like anywhere else i don't have my age anywhere on my instagram like anywhere besides my youtube you know i don't go around telling people my age because it's nobody's business but for her to know like my age you know what i'm saying which is cool you know you watch my youtube channel okay cool like i post shit that's on social media it's for the public you know so i don't really care but the fact that if you do watch my youtube channel and i'm the reason why you came to the club because like i'm the reason that you found the club for whatever reason like why give me this animosity vibe you know what i'm saying why try to cop an attitude and like you know for what reason if you do watch my youtube channel then like i don't get it because on my youtube channel i try to help females out you know i try to help you guys out as much as possible so if you are coming from my youtube channel then you know what i'm saying like obviously i'm not gonna give you guys an attitude i'm gonna try to help you guys out or whatever but ever since day one she's always gave me this vibe and i've like always ignored it just her saying like well you're much older than me it's it's been confirmed like you know there's no other way besides you watch my youtube channel okay like you know what i'm saying it's whatever um but the fact that you just try to bring me this animosity for whatever reason like i've always peeped that i've always peeped that but i in my head i was like oh well maybe she's just watching me all the time like in person because she wants to learn the hustle she wants to learn my hustle because like i always pull customers back to back so i'm like okay maybe she's just staring because you know she's trying to learn off me or whatever so that's what i was thinking so i was like okay whatever you know but then i started like getting this animosity vibe so i'm like bro for what reason like, like i don't know why like i really don't know why she just acts the way she does but i try to stay away from that but yeah like if 
situations like this happen, I'm obviously gonna confront you about it. You know what I'm saying? And she literally, I'm not even gonna get into that story. But yeah, so I, I didn't really trust myself confronting her by myself. So I'm like, all right, let me pull my manager. And he completely agreed with me. So he knew I was in the right, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're a dancer, then you already know. Like, if that's your regular, like, okay, cool. As long as the regular lets the girl know, okay, I'm waiting for Stormy or I'm waiting for this specific girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, then that's your cue to get the out. If you do watch my YouTube channel, I just don't understand, like, why you created this vibe towards me because all i show on youtube is giving y'all tips trying to help y'all out like all i do is show love to my supporters or anybody who watches me you know like so i don't get it so i mean it's whatever you guys i just wanted to let you guys know how my day went and what went down but other than that i really don't got any other drama like i'm not with the drama at the clubs like i just go in get my money and get out like that's what it's all about you know what i'm saying but when situations like this happen it's like just the fact that you went out of your way to lie and then come back to my regular and be like oh no 20 minutes like, like that's real life money hungry right there but i mean it is what it is some people will be fake supporters but that's why I always tell y'all, I appreciate every single one of you guys that truly support me for me and just been rocking with me. Like you guys are literally the ones I do it for, like why I keep dropping videos because it's for the ones who truly support me, you know what I'm saying? All that animosity bullshit, just keep that shit over there. Like I'm not with that shit. If you guys got something against me, like it must be something personal or some shit towards y'all because uh, we big chilling over here clearly sipping my orange juice but damn shorty keeping tabs on my age like that like girl you ain't even gotta go to that extent though like but let me know what y'all think about this situation especially if you're a dancer i already know y'all gonna agree with me because no dancer like if that's your regular that's your regular or if that's your regular and he doesn't let the girl know like oh well i'm waiting for this specific girl then okay cool like the girl that's all dibs you know you can go to that customer but if the regular says oh i'm here for stormy i'm here for this specific girl he's letting you know so that is your cue to get up and leave period that's it that's all there's literally petty strippers and all right strippers like you know what i'm saying like if a girl if all right for example like if it's vice versa i would never like do the most and go to that extent just to get a fucking 20 dollar dance or whatever you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna just leave it alone and walk away you know or if a girl if a customer comes in and a girl is like writing back at him waiting for him to get the drink or whatever so she could go i'm not gonna jump over her like i don't do that type of shiesty shit you know what i'm saying so it's hard out here y'all because you know it's hard out here for a pimp when he's trying to get the money for the rent my neighbor's probably like what the fuck this girl needs to go to sleep but yeah i'm just gonna end it at this note um and say that for everyone who does watch me and who really does truly support me and there's no hatred or animosity then i fucking love y'all and like i always say if you guys want to come to my club and work with me because it's a dope ass club then let me know you guys and please use my name as a referral because that definitely does help me out as well and then I can also give you guys my best tips in person. Like, I will make you guys feel so comfortable at my club on your first day. Like, at least I try, you know what I'm saying? If it's super busy, then obviously I'm gonna have to, like, work. And then, like, I'll come back and, like, try to introduce myself to you guys. And, you know, answer any questions that you guys might have. But other than that, my day was 
pretty good. Um, I got there, I think I want to say like 10.30. I hit the floor like at 10.40-ish. Um, after that, fuck, I can't even remember what I did after that. Oh, after that, I gave this man a dance and then he ended up, I gave this man a $20 dance within the first 10 minutes. And then with the $20 dance, he liked me. So then he ended up getting an hour with me. So we did the hour. After the hour, um, my regular was already there, but I didn't know. And then I went to the back to, you know, you know, talk to my females for a bit because they were chilling in the back. So then I came back and hit the floor and then this other girl had told me like Stormy come here like this guy over there is like looking for you he said he's your regular so shout out to her because she a real one for letting me know so that's when I went over there and I was like hey like I didn't even see you blah blah and yeah he ended up getting the hour with me for 500 and then after that that's when the whole situation happened so then i got like dances after that or whatever but there was people there there was just not quality people like what's going on but um i'm gonna take a guesstimation and i'm gonna say i made about 1500 no like 13 to 1500 as you guys can see i have like oh my god money everywhere but yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you comment down below what videos you want to see next. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.